Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I feel like Jeffree Star when I say that. Um, so first things first, um, I'm going to get started with my Lip Smart. So that this is sitting and hydrating my lips while I'm doing my makeup. Today's a little bit of a better setup. I centered everything so I don't have to turn to the side to look into the mirror. I'm going to do um, sort of like a dramatic smoky eye and I'm going to spotlight two of my favorite um, products or one of my favorite brands which is Stila. I'm going to use their um, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and the Stila Liquid Lipstick because I talked about it in my last video and said um, how much I loved it. So I'm going to use um, that today so that you guys can sort of see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to start with my foundation, which I've already kind of mixed two different colors together on my hand. So I'm just stippling my Real Technique sponge into it on my hand. And then I'm going to get started. Um, again, using the Double Wear. This is my favorite foundation right now. So this is two different colors. This is Fresco and Cashew. Um, they're both like cashew is what I use when I'm, when I have a super dark spray tan and then fresco is what I use on a daily basis. So when I have like a lingering spray tan, this is what I, I use. I mix both of them. I've already prepped my skin with skincare, as you guys know, um, sunscreen is super, super important, or just skincare in general. Um, I started to use um, a skin tone correcting serum morning and night because I've noticed from being on quarantine and being outside a lot more that I've developed a little bit of melasma. I don't know if you guys can see it in my forehead. It's that darker skin right here in the middle, um, which can be brought on from heat or hormonal changes. So the one that I'm using is Skin Better Even, and I had used it in the past on my husband. Um, you have to be consistent with it though. If you're not consistent, it's not going to work. Um, I've used it probably for about a week now and I have noticed it's getting um, lighter. Also, when I'm outside, I've been trying to wear a hat to cover it up because I don't want any sunlight to hit it and make it any worse. I wear sunscreen every day, but still. I feel like the hat is just extra protection. I'm dragging this down a little bit on my neck because as you can see my neck is a good bit whiter because I haven't done my spray tan in a couple days. I'm going to try and make this video shorter because my last one was so long. It was like an hour. Not like we have anything but time right now to sit around and watch makeup videos because I know that's what I've been doing. Alright, so foundation's on. I love using the sponge. I just feel like it gives such a flawless look. And it's a lot less work than having to constantly brush and blend with the foundation brush. And next I'm going in with my Tarte Concealer Shape Tape. This is the shade Fair. Y'all know I like for my under eye to be super bright, so it is pretty light. I mean, I blend it up, but it does look crazy at first. And I use this as my primer as well. I just ordered some P. Louise um, eyeshadow primer. So when that comes in, I'll do a video on that. I think everything's delayed right now with shipping. So it might be a while, but it'll get here. So just stippling this underneath my eye, dragging it down a little bit. Turn it up onto the eyelid, under the brows. Do a little bit on the 
keep it though. A little bit on my chin. And then right in the center of my forehead. Nice and bright, just the way I like it. So I'm going to set everything with my Laurie Mercier setting powder. Big fluffy brush. This is a MAC 150 brush, I think. And I'm really just buffing it into the skin. over the eye, under, and that sort of makes everything super matte, which is good because I want my makeup to last. So next I'm going to start, um, let me set everything under my eye first, um, still using the, this is a crown brush, it's just such a good brush for, um, getting in this corner underneath my eye and using, again, the same MAC Pro Emphasize. It looks like this. You can only get it from the MAC Pro stores, but I love this for setting my under eye because it keeps everything nice and bright. And then even if I have some fallout from eyeshadow, it's super easy to go back and just kind of wipe off. I'm going to use a different um, contour today. I'm going to use the Benefit Hoola Bronzer. I have the mini one. Um, this is also another good, like the NARS, it's a good matte for contouring. And this brush is shaped like the Ida brush that I used in the last video which I like for kind of carving it out and then going back and shading on both sides to blend it. Shading right into my hairline, get a little bit of definition up there, a little dimension. And then I've tried this new technique um, lately that I learned from Nikki Tutorials for how to contour my nose, which is different than anything I've done before. So I'm going to do it again today and we'll see how it goes. I did it one time before. So I'm taking the bronzer and going all over my nose and then I'm going to carve out the lightness. But you have to be a good, like, less precise with it. But we'll see how it works today. I liked it the last time I did it. You can see how everything's looking a little bit darker. And then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier powder, the translucent setting powder, on my sponge, like really packed on here. And I'm going to just drag it down the sides. I'm going to let this bake for a little while. And then I'll take it off. And we'll see what we're left with. Okay. I don't put anything down the center of my nose. Um, just because I don't want to elongate it anymore. I'm just trying to shrink it. Alright, so I use a different highlighter than I used um, last time. Let's do... We'll do Opal, Opal from Becca Cosmetics. 
Um, my favorite highlighter from them is Champagne Pop, but I don't have any right now. So, Opal it is. See how pretty that is? So, Opal's pretty when I have a little bit of color. Um, Mary Luminizer is more what I use when I'm super pale. It's more of a bright highlight. This one is Copper Tone. It's a little bit more of a um, peachy bronze, but it's matte. Say you can never have too much blush. Sometimes you can look a little crazy. I think as long as it's blended in. But I feel like blush is the first thing to go. Like when your makeup starts to wear off, it's the first thing to sort of settle in or swap off. So I always apply a little bit more and always warn people. I'm like, listen, this is the first thing that goes, so it's good to have a little bit more. And as the day goes on, it tends to wear off a little bit. Next is brows. So again, grabbing the same um, Anastasia pomade in the color taupe. Looks like this. And my MAC angled brush. This is my go-to right now. I'm going to brush my brows up a little bit, get them in check, this guy too. I always start by drawing this line underneath here. I feel like it sort of guides me through. I'm supposed to be. And then of course I always want the tail to be darker and sharper than the front of the brow. My brows need some serious help. They've not been touched in a long time. As soon as quarantine ends, I need some, they need some TLC. All right, this is like the general shape, and I'm just gonna come in this corner and feather this out so that it doesn't look too harsh. Ta-da! One down. I don't know if you guys have tried um, the loaded teas, but I have been drinking them on days where I know I'm going to be filming. I did, um, when I did the first video, I had one, and then... I did like a live on Instagram, I don't know if you guys saw it, or one of my friends, um, cosmetology students, and I feel like they just get me going, like I, it's like a tradition now that I need to have a loaded tea if I'm going to film, but so far I've had Every place probably has different flavors, but I've had the Captain America today, which is probably my favorite so far. And then I had the Pretty in Pink, which was really good. Just 
shout out to Bell of Nutrition for my, my energy in quarantine. Sometimes coffee just doesn't cut it. I need something more. All right, so my brows are on. I'm gonna get started on my eyes. So I'm gonna be using the um, Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette. I love this little palette. This guy's um, a little broken up. The black broke. So I just kind of shook it out. But I love that these are so neutral. So I'm going to use one of these as my transition shade. I'll show you guys when I decide. Probably this one as a transition. And then I'll add more um, depth with these two colors. Put this one on my lid. And then I'll go over that with the, um, the Stila. The Glitter and Glow Liquid Shadow. So I'm going to start with my big fluffy brush that looks like this to start adding some color in. These shadows are super pigmented. Um, I haven't used them in a while, but... Just going in with windshield wiper motions, circular motions. And a little bit of depth, a little bit of contour there. Like I said before, this doesn't have to be super precise. The transition shade is just so that it helps you to blend when you start putting in your darker shades in the corners and the creases. So I'm really focusing above the crease. And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. my transition shade just a little bit of color probably like one or two shades darker than my natural skin tone um, next I'm gonna take this darker brown right here and start to build on the outer corner and then I have my fluffy a little bit more precise brush and then if you like to imagine like that V right there to help define it better dragging it in just a little bit. Same thing on this side. I'm patting it a little bit along the lash line. That way it'll smoke out when I put some black liner on the top later. So just really defining the outer V. Pulling it up a little bit towards the tail of my brow. And then using a combination of stippling and blending back and forth motions. I always have a rag on my lap that way when I've reached the desired amount of color I can kind of wipe the brush off and then that way I can just use it for blending so I don't want to 
to keep adding more color to it. I really like to keep the inside corner lighter and brighter. Um, let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of the darkest brown in this palette right here. Just building the outer corner up a little bit more. I'm getting a little bit of fallout on the skin from this. I'll show you guys how I wipe it clean. I just make sure that I pack the brush with more powder before I wipe it. And so with that darker color, I just kind of placed the color where I wanted it to be. And then I'm going to go back and blend it in to the lighter brown. It's really just all about building and blending until you reach the desired, um, the desired effect. Alright, so now at this point I'm going to take a flat um, stippling brush. This is a MAC 242 brush. I love this brush for so many reasons. Um, going in with my brow highlight and my inner corner highlight. Again, with the Makeup Geek Cosmetics color Shimma Shimma. This is like my go-to for highlight. And I just drag it. Like, you don't want your shimmer highlight to go in any further than the arch of your brow. If you do, it just gets too sort of 90s looking with too much shimmer. And then I'm going to focus on the inside corner. This is such a pretty highlight. Alright, next I'm going to take the same brush and go in with the Huda Beauty the sort of disco ball silver right here. Same brush because I love to use this brush to pack on color. And then I'm also going to use, I'm um, spray it with some MAC 6 Plus. And then I'm just going to pat it right here on the center. Up a little bit because my eyes are hooded. So I like to get it just above the crease so you can still see it when you look straight on. Same thing on the other eye. This would be a really fun look for a night out or a New Year's Eve. I love to do a good like disco ball shimmer for New Year's Eve and a super smoky eye. New Year's Eve and Halloween are my two favorite days to do my makeup. I feel like I really get to pump up the drama. So I love the way this looks by itself, but we're going to make it pop even more with the um, Stila liquid eyeshadow. So I want to clean up under my eyes right now. So I'm going to take the same fluffy but pointed brush. Um, and I'm dipping back into the MAC Pro Emphasize. And I'm just going to wipe underneath. I didn't have much fallout, but I want to make sure that that's gone. And then I'm going to take another clean brush and clean off this bake. So I think my nose looks good. It doesn't look um, like too harsh, like obviously. And then I might might put some more powder on top of it just to make it blend a little bit more. Um, so now I'm going to take my MAC Black Track 
gel liner. You know what? I'm going to do my under eye first. I'm going to use this chisel shader. This is my favorite brush to go underneath my eye with. And I'm going to use the same dark brown from this palette. bring it upwards and outwards so I can start to create my wing and do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to work on just blending everything. Needs to be a little bit thicker on the outside of the bottom. So I'll work on dragging that down a little bit more. Even just putting a little bit more product there and then working it down a little bit. Side to side motions. It looks a little crazy right now because I don't have any liner on the top, but I also use this brush, sort of like the Ida brush when I contour, to blend out that line right there. I don't like a sharp wing, I just like for it, you to know it's there. Alright. Next I'm going to use my uh, MAC Black Track the gel liner again with um, the angled MAC brush. I'm not sure what number it is. But it looks like this. Like I said, I have two of these. I use one for my brows and one for my liner. MAC really does have a really good quality brush. Um, that's why I tend to stick with them for my brushes. Because I know I can depend on the quality. It'll last me literally years. Everything starts to come together when this when I put my liner on. Same thing on this eye. I am pulling this liner all the way in. To the inside corner. And then building on the thickness as I work my way out. Coming together. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the glue to my lashes, and while that's sitting, I'm going to um, put my lips on. Get that in 
find the last clue. See if I can do this where you guys can see. So it's just a like a little bit goes a long way. You can see how much glue I put on here. And then I set it down and let it get tacky. Good four to five minutes. If you take care of your lashes, you can reuse them probably five times. These are Dell ones. Even the mink ones you can reuse, I think, a lot more than that. They're a lot more expensive, but um, I tend to lose lashes, so it's kind of hard for me to invest in um, really good ones, because after a night out, it's just like you just peel them off, and wherever they end up, they end up. Um, and then I normally don't find them the next morning. So for my lips, I'm going to be lining them with the NYX liquid liner, not liquid liner, um, lip liner in the color Los Angeles. And I always like to blend it out a little bit. So it's not so much of a defined line. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite liquid lipstick formula, which I told you guys about in the last video. It's by Stila. It's the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is the color Bellissima. And it's a really pretty um, peachy light pink. a gloss over it too but on the lips I feel like blending with your fingers is the best um, just because it can create sort of a um, harsh line all right and then I'm going to go over with the KKW lip gloss in the color super nude just to make it a little bit more of a neutral lip and pop that right in the center So pretty. All right, let's see how my lashes are doing. Still a little wet. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm 
and the fun part is going to be when we get to put the liquid eyeshadow on. I'm just going to kick it up a notch. Alright, so coming out on your side also. Um, while that's drying, I'm going to show you guys. So this is the Fila liquid eyeshadow. It's so pretty when you swatch it. It's just like a disco ball. It's so pretty. Um, so this is just going to add a lot more shimmer and reflection to that area that we did on the lid with the silver. I'm just going to wait for the lashes to dry for another minute so we don't move them around. Um, while that's happening, I'm going to take my Ashley Sievert Spotlight and just put it underneath my eyes, just a couple. Dots and then blend that in. to further brighten the under eye. All right, I'm gonna do a little mascara. I'm still using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I just ordered some more Voluminous since I can't get it at the store, so I have to wait for it to come in. some black liner on my um, waterline. This is the L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner. So it looks like this. And this also kicks everything up a notch. Lashes are dry. Need to put a little bit of mascara up on this eye. Uh, my whole lashes came off. <laughs> Let's try that again. Too soon. And I'm going to add the liquid eyeshadow. I'm going to try and get as close as possible so you guys can see. So I think the applicator is the best way to apply it. And then you just sort of have to stay in the position so that it doesn't crease when you move. I'm just sort of blending that line out a little bit with the applicator. I'm just going to keep my head back so that because if I put my chin down, it's going to crease because it's wet. So I just wait for it to dry. Going right above my black liner. You can even put a second coat of this on if you wanted more glitter. Just 
which was what I should have gave you. I'll take some pictures also and post them on Instagram, but for now, I'm going to set this to dry. I'm going to do my setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Now I'm all ready to go sit in my backyard again. Alright guys, if there's any other video ideas that you guys would like for me to create, please feel free to um, DM me on Instagram and let me know what y'all want to see. Um, so I'll be filming hopefully in another couple of days, but if you guys subscribe and like, I would appreciate it. Alright guys, till next time, see y'all soon.